Open up black windows once you go down You must be crazy if you think that I'ma slow down I wanna hear it talking shit from the drama Keep it coming up and since you took your mama It's the whip, 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 the gun down Dropping bodies in the place till the sun's out Can't fuck with you, don't even try Cause I'm gonna fly, I'm the last one to die Like, subscribe, and share Follow us on Patreon or the YouTube membership, y'all. My deck is now in the Etsy virtual shop, so go ahead and check that out. The link is in the description box below. What is up you guys? Thank you so much for being a part of my channel. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Don't forget to follow us on to Patreon or the membership only for the exclusive daily readings um, along with blackout messages and access to personals. I no longer allow, you know, to see anybody in my energy. So um, yeah, we get like at least... I'm going to say over 30 more videos um, during the month over there on Patreon, but you know, to each their own. Anyways, I also wanted to add this little message in because there's somebody who has actively been stalking my page, okay? You know who you are. What's up, little ugly? I see you, okay, lurking. And guess what? You wanted the attention so bad, so here it is. Every time you come across my page and you try to imitate or emulate any of my energy or pretend to be me I will receive a gift that God has already set up for you every time you say my name or come on to my content with your stank ass energy God will bless me with every one of your gifts that were originally intended for you you'll be left financially emotionally physically and spiritually bankrupt play with your ugly ass mama don't play with me copy that copycat Anyways, that being said, let's go ahead and get into your reading, Sprinkle Sprinkle. <laughs> what is up, you guys? Thank you again for being a part of the channel. We're going to go ahead and jump straight in to, you know, what it is that you need to know in this time. Y'all know how to listen. I hope you know how to listen to tarot at this point in time. Um, for those of you who are new, um, you know, the way that we work through these energies, the you may be getting messages that are not strictly bound to you, but it may play out in your immediate environment. Make sure that you are listening to tarot with an open mind and with your third eye. Um, this could be for you towards you or to the people in your environment take what you need leave the rest don't feel like you have to make a message fit for you if it doesn't let it fly okay anyways let's go ahead and jump straight in to monday's energy what you need to know what you can expect we're gonna go through with my easy deck mm. oh somebody want to clean something up real quick <laughs> okay so someone is down low co-parenting which can also just be parents as well there could have been some um unsavory things that may have happened with your parents okay or with some kind of like um <laughs> co-parenting situation i feel like there's someone here who may have exposed their ass is what they said they exposed themselves in some type of way and they're wanting to fix something or work on something but it's like the way that, look, and what flew out underneath here that you did not see and that they didn't really want me to see is that you can't really trust this person. <laughs> they may be cock-eyed or there may be something significant about this person's eyes. They may be a little bit shifty, okay? Things are not working out for them on Monday. And they are looking for ways to try to clean up a situation. I feel like there may have been something that's been observed about this person as of recently. And they may have actually had people kind of telling them in this time. It kind of looks like it could be their parents telling them they need to find a way to clean this up. Oh, there, something about the family name. Somebody's made something public, all right? And somebody's family is like really in this person's ear about how they're going to fix this situation. So this person who is being told to fix this situation doesn't want to do it. <laughs> they do not want to do it, okay? Um, and if they do come to you on Monday, make sure that you know that this person does not have the best intentions for you, okay? Um, I heard to the highest of all, okay, there's something that's being done in this time for the highest good of all or something about the highest good of all. We've got wishing well, 
okay? And this is also talking about family situations, family dynamics, all right? There is something that has shifted in this time. And there's somebody here who is like legitimately making a wish that whatever it is that they're coming in with will be received in a positive way, in a positive light. I feel like this person here is working up the courage in order to come and make peace with you or bring peace in some type of way. Um, this person is still somebody that you can't trust, but I mean, if you want to hear them out, you know, do what you do. But there's somebody here who is um, taking a deep dive in this time into the reality of a situation or the reality of a dynamic. Okay, so for some of you on Monday, there may be some form of a proposition that's coming in for you, possibly even something that you're not expecting from someone here who it's like you already know that you can't trust this person. I want to say this could even be somebody that you're working with. And if it is um, and you've had some kind of like a workplace drama or gossip or something that's gone on. They are open enough with their family to talk about the situation that's been going down. And they know that they need to find a way to maneuver around a specific situation with you. Okay. Um, this is somebody here who is trying to figure out how to make this move with you. How to change the situation. Change the dynamic. Or get something to work out. <laughs> they want it to work out for them. But they want something to work in a different way okay they know that they've got to come at you in a different way okay so something that they've been doing isn't working somebody's recognizing that on monday that the way that they've been handling a specific situation with you is not working has not been working and they have to change it they have definitely gone to the people who are in their inner circle and have tried to you know her pick their brain so get certain ideas okay of how they can make something that they're wanting to happen come true okay and i will tell you in this deck uh 17 plus 1 is 18 that is a child so there may be you know for those i feel like this may actually be talking about a co-parenting situation okay um more so a co-parenting than a workplace situation but you know Take what you need, leave the rest, right? So I feel like there is a situation going on where um, this person is recognizing that they have to come together or they have to learn to work together. Oh, this is somebody here who may have tried to uh, push against your boundaries or kind of scare you into submission. They're recognizing that they came at you in the wrong way and they and something it's a big deal is what I got. We got hygiene is a big deal over there, but it's a big deal. So they know that you are viewing them in this time as like a stain, okay? A stain on like, oh you've also made this person question their own reality, okay? But it's like they know that you view them as a stain, okay? Um, and they also feel like they may be observed in this way by other people other than you, okay? Um, you may have already gotten the idea. I heard you had already gotten the tea on this person. You already knew how this person moved. And it's like you were already prepared for their next moves. It's almost like you had had some kind of like backup plan, okay? For some of you, you had to keep a backup plan with a specific individual. Whoever this is, they are Definitely pulling on your energy on Monday in some type of way. It's like, I feel like you may be a little bit annoyed with how this person is coming through. But I feel like this is somebody here who is recognizing that they've got to make substantial changes. I feel like this person has been told this. Um, I feel like this is also somebody here who um, is actually starting to plan things out for their future. Okay, you may actually, if this is somebody who you have a child with, and if you're not with this person, they may be... Um, in the process of solidifying a move of some sort, okay? And they may need to kind of communicate this with you in some type of way. There's some kind of information that is, they keep saying it's a big deal, all right? It kind of feels like a living situation, a living dynamic. Maybe they've decided to move, they've decided to relocate, and they don't want to tell you something, but they're going to have to tell you something. They may be getting that information in this time. And it's like, you know, for them to be able to move, like they've got to move accordingly in this next little while. They do not like this. They do not like this at all. They do want to make peace with you, though. There's somebody here who definitely wants to make peace with you because I feel like they said you got a trick up your sleeve or something in your bag that they're a little bit nervous about. They don't know what you're carrying in that bag, okay? But it looks like you may possibly have a lot of documents on this specific individual or maybe you've got something 
Look, it's I heard a bag of tricks. This person is worried about the bag of tricks that you hold or the knowledge that you have, the information that you have, who it is that you are connected to or how much you connect to certain people, okay? What it is that you are holding on to. Um, this person is recognizing in this time that you're not letting something go. You see them as a stain and you're focused on making sure that something is changed, okay? And it's looking like you're, like you're not letting something go, okay? So I feel like somebody had like held on to the idea of you dropping something or letting something go. Mm -hmm. But instead you hit them with, I heard a one, two. So this is somebody here who was shocked by the way that you are moving in this time. And they know that, that how they've got to move in this time is going to have to be strategic. They can't just be messy at this point. I feel like there may have been somebody here who may have tried to like scare you into submission or something like that. But they recognize that it's like that you're not scared. It's like you can work with people who you don't want to work with. It's just a part of life. It's a part of reality. This person is recognizing that they're going to have to give you something. All right. They're going to have to give you something. They're going to have to clean up their act. They're going to have to come correct if they address you. I feel like, you know, let's see what the people around them. Let me see what their, uh, what is their family telling them in this time? How to maneuver around this? What are they telling them? Mm-hmm. They said they need to cut this out. Okay. I heard this has gone on long enough. You saw that you did this, that, and the third. You see that it didn't work. <laughs> um, closure. Okay. I'm also getting something about the world. Okay. So it's like you see what works. You see what doesn't work. We've got Aquarius and panic button. I feel like somebody's family may be a little bit nervous as well about how certain things have gone down. And it's like for you to be able to close out a situation, you need to cut this out. So somebody's family has actually been on their ass as well about cutting out certain behaviors um certain ways of doing things okay they also said you need to look no it fell out again <laughs> they said something that's going on within the home has been illuminated and it's time to put an end to it put a stop to it and it's like if you need to look into the details look into the details so i feel like there's a family dynamic somebody's family is doing a lot of research into this time it looks like they're trying to clean help this person clean their act up or clean certain things up about their reality okay whether this is the details on their living arrangements the details and you know making sure that something's cleaned up okay because it's like this person can't do it on their own and they know for them to be able to get out of the situation unscathed or with like the least amount of um shit attached to them they're gonna have to help this individual okay um and it looks like sun so this could definitely be a masculine energy i'm talking about or they may have a sun all right there's certain details that are needing to be cleaned up okay and i feel like they may be holding somebody may be holding their child accountable to no nah, not maybe they definitely are they say cut it out they say cut it out this has gone on long enough okay um i feel like they may have also said something along the lines of you're gonna kill me if we keep going through this so i feel like they may actually be um if they have a health issue, they're using that. They, they're they saying things along the lines of, you know, if I keep having to deal with this, like, I'm not going to be able to make it through this. You need to, you know, um, you see what isn't working. You need to fix it. You need to fix it. Okay, and I feel like there's something that they've been wanting to keep in-house as well. They recognize that it's being illuminated in this time. Any kind of deep, dark secrets or family secrets may actually be being exposed. The family is not cool with the level of exposure that's happening on... Um, I heard on their parenting, okay, so <laughs> somebody's parents are mad, okay, about the way that their child has been behaving because it's actually coming back on them and they want that covered up, okay, with that uh, 40 minus 4 with the house people are looking into and we look like a bunch of fools we look like a bunch of clowns you better clean this up okay um i didn't do this and this and this for you for you to to to, to screw this whole thing up okay so somebody's family has done the most okay in order to keep the family secrets under wraps and it's being exposed i feel like for some of y'all they shouldn't this could have been something like they keep messing with you but it's like i feel like this is somebody here who they use intimidation tactics to get their way. 
when they didn't have to do that. It's, it's just giving, like, they do this against, like, I don't even think it's just you. I feel like this is just what they do. It's, the, it's their way of feeling in control or feeling like they are, you know, they're in control. It's given in control. I feel like they may be like a fool, like a gesture, like somebody here who's actually someone who is laughed at a lot. They're not taken seriously within their own um, home or they're not taken seriously with their own family. Okay. So they have to exert you know, certain tactics on the people who they feel like they can um, push around, okay? They, they want to push certain people around. This is being uncovered. And it's like, yes, maybe this person did have to deal with that within their household. But it's definitely looking like it's being exposed and their parents are getting pissed off because their, their dirty laundry is also being exposed with whatever this person's doing. Because maybe you have, you know... For some of you, maybe you have some kind of platform, okay? Or maybe you are, you know, voicing your concerns through your Facebook, your TikTok, your whatever you've got, okay? Um, people are becoming aware of the things that have been going on behind the scenes. And it's almost like, it was fine, okay? Everything was fine until people started looking into, into you know... Why a specific person is saying it was fine when you wouldn't say nothing is kind of what it looks like. It was fine when you wouldn't say nothing. But now that you're saying something, okay, somebody wants to figure out how to not only to silence you, because it looks like you kind of loud out here, because this one seal that we have waking everybody up, you may be causing a little bit of a scene in this time. And I don't feel like you're like really doing that much, to be completely honest. I just feel like you're speaking up about it. But I feel like there are certain records or documents that you possess in this time. And I feel like the family is aware of this. And they're telling this person that they need to end the situation. It's gone on long enough is really what I'm getting. It's gone on long enough. You need to end this. Figure out a way. Okay. So this person is actively working on themselves, trying to get things together so that it can appear like they have their life together. Okay. Anyways, that's what I'm seeing for Monday. For those of you who were curious, it looks like somebody's about to try to pull. <laughs> I heard pull a rabbit out of a hat. Okay. Um. So, this person may actually be into manifestation rituals or looking into that in this time in order to try to figure out how they can clean a situation up because it feels like they're going to have to do something um, a little bit drastic or a little bit like something that you wouldn't expect them to do, okay? Something that you wouldn't expect them to do. They know that they're going to have to come at you correctly or come at you differently and I do they don't want to but I feel like they are being bullied in this time it's definitely giving the bully is being bullied by their family members <laughs> on Monday oh my goodness okay so let's look 